Oman is actively exploring alternative fuel sources, including coal and renewable. And we heard uh, a lot about the different, I never knew there were so many different colors of hydrogen. I found out today, I thought it was just hydrogen. But anyway, so Oman is exploring other renewables, coal and renewable, and um, it's part of Vision 2040. Can you elaborate a little bit on the current or future projects at PDO that will contribute directly to our vision, Vision 2040? Thank you. Thank you very much for that question. It's a very good question. And it's a pleasure to be with the esteemed guests and in presence of His Excellency. So I think for, uh, for many in the room that are very familiar with what PDO is all about, but for our friends and colleagues from Saudi, perhaps a very quick introduction about PDO being the largest oil and gas producer in the country. We produce about uh, 660,000 barrels per day of black oil, about 90,000 uh, barrels of condensate, about 2.1 BCF of gas every day. And we do that through about uh, 200 plus oil reservoir, about 50 gas reservoirs, 30,000 kilometers of flow lines and pipelines. Uh, and we have about 60 rigs, we drill about 1,000 wells per annum. So with that, all that activity, we're still looking at growing significantly our production, with which comes the challenges of sustainability. And that challenge is, I think, nicely framed by His Majesty's directive in October last year, which was launched in COP27, where Oman said that we are gonna go for NZE uh, 2050, and we've embraced the same as well. And in fact, we've gone a bit further and said, right, we want to, in fact, half our emissions by 2030. And that means that you don't produce any molecule, but you produce an abated molecule molecule which actually is low carbon. And to do that, you obviously have to strategize how you do that, and hence the entire decarbonization, like yourselves, the entire decarbonization strategy that we have put on the table through which we are looking at how do we reduce emissions and still continue to grow. And one of the, I think, um, one of the key projects, for example, and the many, I mean, we've got 150 projects in our portfolio that we are actually implementing, but one of the key that I wanted to highlight is actually on power, because power generation causes about industry-wise also about 60 percent plus of emissions come from from there so we are at this point in time about 10 percent of our power comes from renewables by about 2026 30 percent of our power will be coming from renewables because we are actually going into in fact already in the market uh, with going into three renewable projects a mix of wind and solar and that is actually in, uh, together with OQ, AE. Uh, they are the national champion for doing renewable projects, and they're doing that work on our behalf as well. And uh, by 2030, we would have 50% of our power be generated by, by renewable. So we are, we are basically uh, very much in, in a well-integrated ecosystem that we have to take care of, and that's, that's what our contribution to it is. And I think one last thing I would like to add to that is, I think, and this is probably the right, we've, and the messages have come here as well, is there is no path to net zero emission without collaboration. And this is the forums that we actually come and collaborate. One of the examples we are collaborating with, and Dr. Faraz actually mentioned it, is, is the, um, the agreement that we have signed with Shell, looking at how do you actually capture carbon and utilize it for EUR for our purpose as well. So those are just some, some of the examples that we are working on, which actually fits very nicely with Vision 2040. Thank you very much. In three words, what does sustainability mean to? Um, I guess it will be um, generating value with low carbon future, such that the video that you showed remains for the next 50 to 100 years. Thank <laughs> you.